I found a scenic route to the hotel. Honey, your last scenic route drove us right into a swamp. Now, why don't we take the interstate, baby? It was built for people like you. Oh, the interstate is so unromantic. 17 years, we haven't had a vacation alone. I want to see romantic country roads, covered bridges, farms with rolling hills where cheerful white people do all the work. <laughs> get that on the interstate. No, but the interstate gets you to the hotel faster. You know the first thing I'm gonna do when we get there? Oh, honey, you're bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what you want before your father is forced to cut out your tongue. I need your opinion. Do you think I would look better with really large breasts? You stay here, honey. I'll get the knife. <laughs> Mom, don't Dad? come in here. They were doing it. We were not. It's okay. I know all about sex from biology. Did you know that some species kill their partners after mating? Oh, and others eat their young. <laughs> Man, what's with the volume? They were doing it. Ah, 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 my man. <laughs> children, children, children. You know we said that we loved you and we would always be here for you. Yeah. Well, now we changed our minds. Get out. Well, Mom, Get out. Mom. Ooh, don't worry, honey. We're gonna have the best weekend outline. Uh, I just wish I had enough money to take us someplace really nice. Hey, our honeymoon was great. We spent that at that motel next to a bowling alley. <laughs> Remember? You gave me that red plastic rose, <laughs> and then you sang. Sitting in La La, waiting no, on No, no, no. See, you got to do the moves. Oh, baby, I ain't doing no moves. Well, if you don't do your moves, I ain't doing my moves. <laughs> I'll do my moves. All right. <laughs> I'll be sitting in La La, waiting on my ya ya. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Mom, Mom, Dad. <laughs> Nathaniel, why aren't you in bed? I couldn't sleep. I was in bed thinking that when I grow up, I wanna be just like you, Dad. Uh -huh. Oh. So I was wondering, Dad, how much does a bus driver make in a year? <laughs> well, son, I make about eighteen thousand dollars. Jeez, no wonder we live like this. Nobody's got it easy As life keeps rolling out There isn't a door The trouble don't come knocking up Life may be a bowl of cherries And love may not cost a cent we all had a taste of sour berries. We all know that love won't pay the rent. Nobody's got it easy, honey. Still, we can make it through. Nobody's got it easy, but I've got it fine. for you. She's starting again. Excuse me, I'm talking to my daughter. Listen to this. Successful businessman loves children looking for a woman to adore. You want me to get him on the phone? <laughs> Mom, I have been married for 17 years. He's the one sitting next to you eating the Wheaties. Were you married in a church? No, so you're not legally married. That's not true. That's what Charlie Button says, and he's a lawyer. He's a baker. <laughs> he makes good money. You could have married him, but no, you have to live in sin with a bus driver. Not even a real bus driver. A school bus driver. They won't trust him to drive adults. <laughs> I'm taking this from a woman who believes Edie Armin and Edie Gourmet are related. <laughs> 
if you read a little bit more, you would be better informed, Mr. Bus Driver of Little Children. Honey, 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 don't let Mama get to you. And look, I have all our things laid out, and I've canceled my afternoon piano. Students, now how soon can you get home? Well, if I don't come to complete stops, about 3.45. Mm. <laughs> then 4 o'clock, this is all a memory. Mm. Mm. Yo, Pop, don't weigh yourself out. <laughs> yeah, can't eat, Mom. I gotta fly to practice. Raymond, you wanna grow up to be strong, you eat right. Mama, not only am I strong, I'm pretty. <laughs> you wanna stay pretty? Yo, Pop. Thanks. <laughs> you know, you two are gonna have one sweet time going away together. Me and I'm gonna be cracking the books all weekend. Raymond, no party. Mother, you wound me. I will if you have a party in this house. <laughs> Come on, you know, Spunk and the Big P had a party while their parents were away. You know, you're gonna make me lose face? Which is what the Big P lost when those kids crashed this party. He did not lose his whole face. Just a little <laughs> part of his nose. <laughs> Morning, Grandma. You're an idiot. I am not an idiot. Idiot. I happen to be taking college credit courses. Yeah, for the University of Idiots. Mom, Nick keeps calling me an idiot. Ignore him, honey. Idiot, 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 idiot. Nathaniel, your brother is not an idiot. He's doing Raymond's homework, not even charging him for it. <laughs> Raymond. I, I wanted to do my homework, Mama. I did, but, you know, then I got to thinking, what am I going to wear tomorrow, you know? <laughs> Oh, Raymond, Raymond, Raymond. Can't call on basketball to get you through, son. I was lucky enough to get a decent job. You might not be so lucky. Yeah, 18,000. Real lucky. <laughs> call me when he's grown and gone and I'll come back. Later, Pop. Bye, Dad. Bye, Dad. Gotta go, Mom. See you tonight. Uh, no red honey, would you step in here for a moment, please? <laughs> my, 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 aren't we looking healthy this morning? I think my body's in a stage of rapid change. Yeah. You know, wool does that to a body. <laughs> oh, great, ruin everything. No red. She looked fresh. You get out. <laughs> Bye, Mama. Have a good one. Gotta move. Got job interview before school. Come back here. What job? Delivery boy for Mr. Stereo. Dad was a delivery boy when he was my age. I thought he'd be proud. Well, I am. I just like to know what my children are doing. Mm. <laughs> He's becoming a delivery boy. I'm becoming a doctor. An idiot doctor. Excuse me, but doctors are not idiots. It's gonna be on your door, Dr. Peter Idiot. Idiot doctor. I don't have anything to worry about while we're gone, do I, Mama? I look after them all the time. Don't you trust your own mother? Hmm. It says here the Pope makes all of his own clothes. You think that includes shoes? <laughs> This is wonderful. Well, thank you, Larry. I will see you next week, okay? Bye. Bye. Uh, taking money from poor little white boys. <laughs> I'm glad your father's not alive to see this. Mom, Pop lives in Minneapolis. You're divorced. <laughs> Death can mean different things to different people. Hi, honey. You could knock before you barge into someone's home. You can't get to me, old lady. I'm in too good of a mood. Mm. Mm. I have everything laid out. All you need to do is go downstairs to the basement and get the suitcases. And, and then... then... Sitting in La La, waiting on my ya ya. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hey, Ma. What's in that bag? You know, just some stuff for Grandma for the weekend. Oh! Onion dip and LL Cool J. 
Oh, yeah, that's Grandma, all right. <laughs> Raymond, can I go away for just one weekend and trust my children to behave? Hi, Mom. Guess what? I'm popular. <laughs> your two friends down here. I'll get them for you, Mom. Hey, Mom. Mom, Nate's got a skateboard under his jacket. My boss gave it to me for my job. Great boss, huh? Yeah, I'd like to meet this great boss of yours, Nathaniel. Sure, Mama. Excuse me, idiot. Well, doctors don't need skateboards. Doctors get to examine women naked. <laughs> Ella, I'm not going to argue with you. Then admit you're wrong. Edie I mean and Edie Gourmet are not related. <laughs> he is a cannibalistic dictator. She is a white pop singer who sang Blame It on the Bossa Nova. And you still can't see the connection? <laughs> you don't want to argue with Mama. No, I want to wring her flabby little neck. <laughs> We gotta leave. Not just yet. I have a few things I need to straighten out with the children, okay? Oh, let your mama handle it. We'll finally get some use out of her. Oh, well, baby, I resent being used by a man who knows nothing about African history. Edie Gourmet is not African. I don't see how you live with him. When you're ready to apologize, I'll be ready to babysit. But, Mama, we're leaving. So am I. <laughs> Michael, you know better. You have to apologize to Mama. Me? Apologize to old prune face? <laughs> hey, you watch what you say about my mama. At least she doesn't go around trying to seduce bellhops. You watch what you say about my mama. She was lonely, and he was in uniform. Mom, Raymond took something mine and won't give it back. Now, your daughter. I'll go see if I can find dear old Mom. What is it with this sudden glandular obsession? Mom, I'm the only girl in my class who hasn't developed yet. All the other girls have boyfriends already. Oh, sweetie. This might seem like a solution, but it's not going to work. Boys don't really like that sort of thing. Oh, yes, they do, Mom. I got a date. <laughs> but not the type of boy you'd be proud to be seen with. He's captain of the swim team, editor of the yearbook, and he writes poetry. But what kind of boy is he really? <laughs> He's the kind of boy who yesterday didn't know I existed, and today is going to pick me up. But, baby, this isn't you. It's Raymond Socks. <laughs> Honey, this guy should like you for who you are, and he can't unless you like who you are. Well, I don't. Sorry, Mom. No, man. Do I get my socks back? Raymond! <laughs> I did it. We will have no more problems with your mama. It was nice being your mother. I'm moving. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll call a babysitting service. Oh, great. Three days at $5 an hour, 24 hours a day. I'll apologize. <laughs> mama, Michael has something he wants to say to you, and I want you to listen. Michael. OK. Mama. I've come to apologize. Well, then do it. <laughs> I just did. I didn't hear it. Couldn't I choke her for just a little while? Mama, Michael is making a sincere effort here, and I think you have to meet him halfway. All right, I'm a fair woman. I'll try. Go ahead and apologize. I apologize for even insinuating that Edie Amin and Edie Gourmet are not related. No, I'm sorry. I was mistaken. It wasn't Edie Armin and Edie Gourmet. It was Edie Armin and Emilio Estevez. Uh, does this mean 
that you're going to babysit, Ma? I'll do it for this egg beater. Deal. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Hi, I'm here to pick up Lorette. We're going to the mall. Oh, uh, why don't you come in and sit down? You must be her new friend from school. Uh, yeah. You know, it's funny. We've been going to school together for years, but I just never seemed to notice her before. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my Lorette. One day she's in the background, the next she just pops right out at you. <laughs> Mom, Dad took all my socks and kids gonna be here in the... <laughs> Hi, uh, I'm early. Hope it's... Did you change your hair or something? Yes, I changed it into different hair. <laughs> no, it's, it's not your hair. It's them. They're gone. No, excuse me. I, I, I'm going to leave you two alone. Yeah, this is me. I was sort of overdressed this morning. No kidding. So what, now you don't want to go to the mall? Well, no, I'll, I'll go. It's not like I have to spend money or anything. You know what I think? I think you only want to be seen with me because the way I looked. It had nothing to do with who I am. Well, this is me, and I like who I am. This is what you like. Here, you can have them. Have fun at the mall. <laughs> I am so proud of you, baby. God, I miss him already. <laughs> well, ready to go? Michael, do you think Mama can handle them? No, but neither can we. <laughs> How can you say that? Hey, 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 you get to make and kiss your loving father goodbye. Nate, we're leaving. Come give your mama a... You want to tell me about this? It's money, Mom. This pile goes to my boss, and this pile's all mine. Nate? There must be at least a hundred dollars here. I know. It's more than Dad makes in a whole day. Don't tell him, though. I don't want him to feel, you know, worthless. <laughs> Yo! Where's my money, fish face? That's me. Coming! Be right back. Just a minute, dear. You forgot something. What? Me. Oh. Come here. <laughs> Uh, what's this? This is my mom. Mom, this is Mr. Stereo. All right, well, maybe this ain't a good time. No, this is a perfect time. <laughs> I have a free hand. Oh, oh, hey, what? The lady, you're tearing it off. Now, I want you to tell me what you've been having my son deliver for you. Now, look, lady, you don't know who you're messing with. Ah, car stereos. Car stereos, no big deal. And where did you get these car stereos? I found them in the street. In cars in the street? No, they, they were just lying there. You know, like stereos do. Oh, so they're nobody's stereos. Right. And this is nobody's money. Now, here I can't agree with you. <laughs> well, let's split it. I mean, that's fair. No, see, I don't take money that I don't earn, and neither does my son. And you, being the reputable businessman that you are, can't either. So that leaves me with only one thing to do. What, are you crazy? Yes, I'm crazy. I'm crazy enough to rip body parts of anyone who ever try to mess with my family again. Man, this neighborhood is going to hell. <laughs> Did you know about this, Nate? Did you know that you were delivering stolen goods? No, Mama. He, he said he was a factory outlet. <laughs> I was just trying to make some money. What does a 10-year-old need that kind of money for? For your trip. I heard you and Dad talking. You didn't have enough for a real nice room. I just want to help. 
Come here. Are you gonna rip my ear again? From here. <laughs> you know what you are? Your baby? No, you're an idiot. <laughs> Listen, there is no such thing as easy money. Yes, there is, Mom. Mr. Stereo has lots of it. Okay, <laughs> so there is easy money. But you don't want it. No, I sure don't. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> because there isn't any pride in it. Listen, your father doesn't make a lot, but he earns every penny, and he doesn't have to hide from anyone or be afraid of the police. And here's the most important part, baby, and remember this. If your father or I ever catch you doing this again, we will whip your butt into your sister gross breasts. <laughs> Love you too, Mama. <laughs> All right. Peter still hasn't taken the socks out of his shirt. Raymond's calling the DJ. Loretta's in the closet weeping for her lost love, and your mama says Gorbachev paints that thing on his forehead to get sympathy. <laughs> you ready to go? Baby, go in the house. Michael. I've been thinking. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Me too. Well... <sighs> All right, everybody, get in the damn car! <laughs> but what about our clothes? I packed plenty of socks. Just get in the car. <laughs> Man, all the brothers are gonna show up. The main attraction's not even gonna be here. And what would they be showing up here for, honey? Darn if I know. <laughs> I hit the front seat because I'm gonna be a doctor. Yeah, an idiot doctor. Call it Dr. Idiot. Call it Dr. Peter Idiot. You know what, Michael? The important thing is after 17 years, you and I still want to be alone together. I love you, baby. Mm. Go. If I get sick and there's no one here, I'll just drag myself along the curb until I find a hospital. Please, Mama, you think we're going to leave you here? Boys, strap your grandmama to the hood. <laughs> Wednesday night, CBS presents two Christmas classics, Frosty the Snowman and a Charlie Brown Christmas. It's a holiday treat for the whole family, Wednesday on CBS. Now get ready for Lenny on his new night, next.